You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Ball. What is up, Diecast collectors and Diecast viewers on YouTube? This is OBB here, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with another, well, you guys know what it is, a What's the Swords video, guys. <laughs> I mean, th these are so popular on YouTube, even I'm doing them now. But I, I really do appreciate you guys' support, guys, and 2019's already looking great so far, and um, I'm excited uh, that we're going to hopefully get some 2019 cars very soon. Probably not in this episode, but um, who knows, guys, but... Because Wave 2, I think, hasn't even hit the stores yet. But I'm um, still on the hunt for Wave 1, as you guys could tell. If you guys saw my last uh, video on what's in stores, uh, Episode 6, I did found most of Wave 1 for 2019. However, though, I did came up very short on the Joey on two die casts, which were the Joey Logano Pennzoil throwback from last year and the uh, Chase Elliott first cup win from Watkins Glen, Sun Energy 1 car. Um, I actually missed out on that car and the, the standard version and the liquid color chase piece as well so i already knew those cars are gonna be hard to find but um i was able to find the rest and i got majority of them besides the bowman nationwide children hospital car but you guys already know that it's just a little recap if you guys just uh because it's like a part tour video and um yeah, for once, I'm actually wearing a different hat. It's pretty cold out, so I hope you guys didn't mistake me for a thug or anything. <laughs> yeah, like, who the hell would want to get in this piece of shit, am I right? <laughs> but, um, anyways, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's in stores on this video. Well, that was a surprise. Wow, Walmart, I swear you have like a love-hate relationship with me. Same with Lionel. Holy crap. After the after the crap I had with Wave 12, well, this is this is definitely what I needed. Holy jumping Jesus, man. This was freaking cool. We got a surprise wave. A surprise wave. That That is freaking awesome, man. I, if you guys already saw that, uh, it's the Daytona 500 2019 wave, which I had no idea came out. A total surprise, just like last year's uh, Daytona 500 wave. And it's basically all 2019 cars. If you guys saw uh, my uh, my reviews on Wave 2 and Wave 3, um, which are separate videos, well, Wave 3 ha it got leaked. But still, these cars are out now. Like, holy crap. That, that's freaking awesome. I mean, it's a little late now because it is past the Daytona 500, but better late than ever. I mean, 
I mean, hell, this wave's already better than Wave 12. Am I damn right? <laughs> but, my God, guys, I mean, well, I got a big bag of diecasts right here. Like, I ain't joking. I mean, one of them's already popping out, so... Let's go ahead and get things started, guys. I am so psyched to see what we got. So first up, we got the Daytona 500 champion, guys. Danny Hamlin in the number 11 FedEx Express Toyota Camry. So this is going to be probably one of the first few cars that I'm going to review, possibly, uh, for these cars. So as you guys see right there, even on the box, it says 2019 Daytona 500 Special Edition Wave. So these will be re-released again in Wave 2 and Wave 3. So not surprising right there. But really nice looking car, guys. I uh, Pretty appropriate to have this car reviewed this week since, you know, he's the Daytona 500 champion. Next up, we got, ooh, the first, first ever Ford Mustang diecast, which got leaked as well. So, man, Lionel with the leaks. Gotta love them. The Fifth Third Bank. Ford Mustang diecast. Look at that. I know the camera's pretty crappy right now because I'm using my old camera, but man, beautiful car. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it's even got that Ford Mustang body, so it's not a 2018 car. It's even got that big old spoiler, man. Look at that. That is huge. Like, whew. Bring it back to the 2015 days. Am I right? <laughs> All right. Next up, we got, so let's see right here. Oh, now, I guess you could say I'm a hypocrite, okay? I am a hypocrite. All right. I caved in because I had a really bitch of a time finding this car, even though this car really isn't considered one of those special cars. I got a Wave 12 car, okay? C call me a hypocrite, all right? Because it's a liquid color car. I know it's going to have some rarity to it, even though every single freaking type of this car is liquid color, but still a cool paint scheme, even though I don't like this mold, so yeah. I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> I swear I didn't buy the rest of the Wave 12. I swear on my damn damn soul. <laughs> I didn't even got that fr that freaking Truex car for Christ's sake. Man, I'm having too much fun in this video. Man, this this uh, Daytona 500 has got me so psyched now. <laughs> we got also got the uh, Alex Bowman Valvoline Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. I I love this car. And someone's breaking into a car right behind me. So, uh, <laughs> man. This is such a, this is going to be a crazy freaking video. But here's the uh, Alex Bowman Valvoline car. You guys know how much I love the Valvoline cars, especially me being an auto mechanic. So that's going to be great for my collection. Next up, I got to give a good shout out to all the Larson fans out there, including my good friends Race Day 2011 and at Ganassi Fan 942. And the uh, nine is for Chi, uh, I almost said Chase Selly, it's for Scott Dixon. <laughs> Derek is so gonna screw me and this it's definitely is gonna <laughs> roast me in this freaking video but yeah the credit one bank car love that car even though I find it hilarious that it has a DC solar logo on that car all right we got a few more to show you guys and I'm probably just gonna go home and uh, have a party myself <laughs> let's see as I'm struggling to get the bag right here we got uh, William Byron Liberty University Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. That was an awkward, uh, you know, moment of silence right there. <laughs> but, yeah, pretty cool car. I mean, it's basically the same car as last year, but I decided to get it because, man, the white numbers just stand out so much better on this. Plus, I didn't got his patriotic car because, you know, way 12. All right, I believe we got one more to show you guys, I believe. Yes, we do, and it is uh, the um, Daytona 500 champion from 2018, Austin Dillon. Now... I did say I didn't like this paint team as well, so that's me being a hypocrite again. So, <laughs> but still a nice looking car. Probably gonna take out of the box and do a side by side comparison because you know that's what I do. So yeah, guys, I got a lot of reviews to do, so I'll probably gonna wrap it short here. So thank you guys for watching this uh, very interesting, crazy, exciting, fun filled extravaganza of an episode. So um, who knows? We're gonna have any more surprises, guys? Maybe we'll get another cracker barrel wave or something. Um, God, I haven't find those freaking cars yet. Dang it, when was the last time was that Cracker Barrel? Anyways, I got a lot of stuff to do now, so thank you guys so much for watching this uh, What's in Stores video. Uh, comment, like, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and this has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and I will catch you guys on another What's in Stores video if I survive this one. <laughs>